How are we doing today, people? This is Mark, the iCloud helper, coming to you from Cardiff City. And in this video, I'm going to be doing an MDM, remote, ma sorry, remote management, uh, fully untethered bypass. But in this video, I'm going to be doing it on Mac for Mac users. Yes, it's free. And no, you don't have to jailbreak it either. Yes, I found a way of doing it. Just follow my instructions, ABC, and we'll be good to go, all right? So first thing we wanna do, okay, is on your Mac, if you can head over to Safari, uh, whichever web browser you're using, and um, what you wanna do is at the top, you wanna type in this uh, website address. It's uh, ipsw.me. Okay, hit enter. And now what we need to do is we need to find, so right, so for a start, it's an iPad, yeah? So select the iPad. Um, and what we're gonna do is, the iPad I'm using today is an iPad Air 2, uh, Wi-Fi only. However, I need to bring this to your attention. The very, very good news is that it works on any iOS device. It can work on any iPad, even, even the Pro with the M1 chip, yeah? It can work on any iPhone up until the 12 Pro Max, which is the latest one and any iPod touch as well. But obviously with earlier models, I'm guessing the MDM is not gonna be on them anyway. So what we're gonna do is, we go on this site, ipsw.me, and so we need to search, and that's the one I'm looking for there, iPad Air 2 Wi-Fi. You select that. Once you've selected that, what you wanna do is, by there, where it's got the latest beta, 14.7.1, click that. And then if you just scroll down and hit that there, download, yeah? Select download. It'll go into the downloads box by there, right? And as soon as that's done, I'm gonna drag it to the desktop. Um, so let's open it up. As you can see, it's downloading the software, 4.5 gigabytes. So um, I'll get back to you soon as the firmware has been um, downloaded to my desktop and I'll be right back with you. Okay. So as you can see, the software has been downloaded. So what we're gonna do, select this, drag this to the desktop. And now we can clear that and close out of this page here, okay? Now, now we have this on the desktop. The next thing we're gonna do is put our device into DFU mode, okay? So with these devices, power button and home button at the same time. As soon as it goes black, one, two, three, let go of the power button, keep hold of the home button, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, let go. And as you can see, it's opened up in Finder, okay? Not iTunes, Finder. And this is very important, okay? Very important. So what we wanna do is select okay there. Now, this part by here, where it's got restore iPad, what you wanna do is hold down the options key. Whilst holding down the options key, press restore iPad. And then it'll bring up like, you know, recent applications, desktops and all that. So as you know, I saved it to my desktop and there it is right there, okay? 
So now I've got that there. We're going to select open and we are going to restore. So the Mac is preparing to restore the software on the iPad. I'll get back to you once the software has been installed. Shouldn't take too long. The iPad is now on the second bar going up. Okay. So what we need to do is we need to click trust on the computer. Um, and once we've clicked trust, what's going to happen is it's going to start retrieving the data from the iPad. So just wait a minute until the second bar goes up because um, you've got to select trust once once the second bar's gone all the way up. I do need to add a few and clarify a, a few things. If you're using an iPhone or an iPad, the cellular, be sure to take the SIM card out as it could cause some kind of network malfunction. It does happen with a lot of people. Um, also, if, um, if you want this done on Windows, go over to my um, other YouTube video and you'll see two MDM bypasses, fully bypassed, no jailbreak, and both of those are on Windows. The one on Windows is for the latest beta, iOS 14. Um, the other MDM remote management for Windows is for the latest iOS 12.5.4, so the latest iOS 12 or below, okay? So two videos, one lit iOS 12 or below, the other video, which is at the moment the most popular video, is the latest iOS 14.7.1. Shouldn't take too long now. It's on the second bar already. Um, but as you've seen what I've done, I haven't actually done this through iTunes. I've done it through Finder. So it's a simple process. You have saw what I've done so far and you're gonna see what I do to the end of the video. And it's, well, it's ABC, it's a simple process. Also, be sure to like, uh, comment, and most importantly, subscribe. You know, I've got, I've got loads of uh, videos with um, uh, whether it's MDM, iCloud bypasses, um, if your device is like unable to activate with a red triangle, I've got um, a bypass fix for that. I've even got a bypass fix for the blue unable to activate with, sorry, um, unable to activate with the blue triangle. I've also got a bypass for that as well. And the one with the blue triangle is a broken baseband. But even if you have that with a broken baseband, it will still work. The videos are on my channel and there's plenty more to come. There's plenty more to come, you know. It's so like a lot of people were asking me, um, you know, a lot of Mac users because I done the um, the last two previous videos on Windows. Um, you know, a few people are a bit stuck. They got Mac and they don't have Windows. So there we go. Um, and here we are. So now it's about to boot up. Let's get going, shall we? So what we're going to do is select trust and now whilst it's activating simply go on here select English 
and your uh, country or region. In my case, it's the UK. Now, this bit is very important. When you get to this Wi-Fi stage here, don't select it. What you want to select is next. And then you want to select continue. Whilst it's retrieving the configuration, let's wait a moment. Okay. Now we want to click continue. Set up touch ID later. Don't use passcode options. Don't use passcode. Don't use passcode. The bottom one there, don't transfer apps and data. Now this is the important part by you. iPad a bit better. Right, now when it gets by here, this is where we need to connect to the internet, okay? But when it gets by here, what we can do, right, is disconnect it from the computer. So, it's no longer connected to the computer. So what I'm going to do is, Press that, more Wi-Fi options. I'm just gonna put in my passcode a sec, all right, peeps? There we go. So I put in my password, hit enter. And at this stage here, we want to press done. And now we want to go back, back, passcode options. Don't use passcode. Don't use passcode. That one. And now here we are, right by here. Now, this is what you want to do. One more time. Back, back, passcode options. Don't use passcode. Don't use passcode. Look at that. We're in. Done. Just like that. Done. Fully untethered. To make sure it's fully untethered, power it off. And now, power it back on again. Fully untethered, no jailbreak required, and most importantly, it's free. <laughs> free. And this is how to do it on a MacBook. Okay? Look at that. We're in, we're done, we're sorted. Like I said, please like, comment if you have any questions, and most importantly, please do subscribe. This is Mark. The iCloud Helper coming to you from Cardiff City. Bye for now, people. Bye for now.